Even the academy. By the way, Piero. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything. Practically. Sure, make me something. Sticky grenade. Nice. I will take one of those. And let's see here. What do we got in here? Um, that's capacity. Unlock grenades that stick to targets. Okay, so that is not the nail bomb I was hoping for. And probably not uh, very good. Also, I could probably use spring razors on rats. I never really thought about it. Never really used it on much of anything. And damn, I've got a lot of coin. Who needs to turn yourself in when you can just get the coin on your own? It's all good with me. Alright, there's nothing in here that I need. Alright, let's see what's going on. What's up? I just don't like the way they look at me. I'm not a fool. I know I'd be the first to go if they got rid of people. My old mother used to work at the boils. The stories she'd tell. I don't think that the boils are at all good looking. I don't know, I didn't get to see under their masks. Hello, sir. Got anything else to say? What I wouldn't give to go to one of those parties. She's just jealous. Must seem a little drab coming back here. Nah, it's not that bad. Apparently that's all she has to say. What the hell is this doing in here? I don't know. Let's try it. I'm taking part in history here. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age. A better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered. As the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And one feisty little girl who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. So apparently you can stop these. I did not realize that that was a possibility. If there's anything over here. Uh, not that I can see. Just the little old lever. And some of the hound pit stuff. Oh, hey. There is a river crust down there. Looks like Sokolov is in here, too. What? I can't go in here. I thought I had the key to that. Alright. Looks like Pendleton's there, but I would really like to see what's in my room. From that courier. Attention Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off limits pending an ongoing investigation. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little update on our goings on here. Ooh. An anonymous note. Whoever you are, I must thank you for sparing at least part of my family. We all have enemies, certainly, we Boyle women. In a way, you've done me a favor, so you deserve a reward. I've passed this along from one of my servants through another who knows another to one of yours. May we never cross paths again. Hmm. So apparently one of the boils rewarded me with a rune for kidnapping one of her daughters. Or one of her sisters. I don't know. It just sounded a little bit like the mother was talking for some reason. Actually, hold on. I need to check and see if there's anything good in here. Oh, we got something here. Lord Pendy can wait. He shall be uh, pending, Hello, as love. it were. How's it going, guys? Log entry 5. Is this new? Yes. I think the other log entries are something we've read, though. Um, Teague Martin is now High Overseer. He is a clever one, and his ideas have taken us very far. Considering where he comes from, he should be very pleased with himself. 
Now we can be assured that the overseers will support our claims, whatever they may be. There is only one man now standing between us and complete control of the Empire. Lord Regent will soon find himself staring into that hideous mask of Corvo's. Of that I have no doubt, but what happens after that? Let's see here. Havlock entry number four. Returning with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. I'm pretty sure we read this one. It sounds familiar. I'm just going to scroll through these. Just in case we haven't read these, you can pause it and read it yourself. But um, there you go. I'm just going to read the final entry there. And these I would like to take because I saw them. Anything else around here? Got something down there. Hmm. This noodle. That is not the vintage I asked for. You yes, it is. With ox? No matter, just set it down. Leave both bottles and get out. I'm trying to write my memoirs. <laughs> Pendleton is an ass hat. It really is. Also, I should probably talk to the girl sweeping around in here. I once snuck into a party at the Brimsleys. Very strange it was, too. Yeah? I just kidnapped someone with your same name and gave it to Brimsley. Had a fun night out, did you? Sure. I bet you enjoyed yourself over there. A little bit. I do like a masked ball. So mysterious. No one likes a party better than I do. Yeah, you look like you're partying hard right now. Sweep that floor. It's like a, a new kind of dance or something. I'm gonna head down here and uh, check out where those things are. Grab some crossbow bolts to take them out. Oh, hi. How you doing? You gonna open up? I'm right here. Thank ya. Any more of those things down here? Oh, there's one. Mine. I think that's worth it. Spending two bolts for uh, two of these things. You get 100 loot, and I think the bolts cost 20 each, so I make about 60 loot. Seems fairly worth it to me. Anything uh, worthy of being picked up down here besides that? Probably, but I think I'm going to miss it. Doesn't seem like my vision works on a very good range. Oh well. That's cool anyhow. And we already talked to you. Maybe we should... Now, Piero won't be someone we can talk to because he'll just try to sell his crap. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. Is he now? That it? Okay. What else we got in here? Hey, Sammy. Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. <laughs> Things are moving pretty fast now, eh? All that with Lady Boyle just now will probably put the Lord Regent into a state. I'll be ready in case you need to leave in a hurry. I'm sure I will, but you might want to not pour that alcohol on the side of your face. You're a little bit drunk there, Sammy. I'm tired, but as long as you're up and about, I'm going to stand at the ready, Corvo. Sounds good to me. You go update the others, sir, and I'll watch the water. Like as not, they'll come from the river if they come. I like it out here by the water's edge. The sound of the river is relaxing. A pity about the smell. The sound of the river? I think the only liquid around here is the booze. God, this guy's drunk. I never did sleep right on land. The sea's in my blood. Uh, I don't think that's the sea. What's up? Corvo. Emily's hiding again. 
It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Oh, okay. Sure. Why not? Search the tower area for Emily. Emily, where are you? <laughs> okay. Well, that's easy. I'm going to stab your face, Emily. How you doing? Shh! Don't make any sound. I'm hiding from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Cause she's not good at finding yeah. you. This was at the edge of the river in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it as a present. What is it? I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while anyway. Sweet. I'm getting runes all over the place. I don't know what the hell I should do with all these runes. How many runes do I have? 12. I don't know what I should really be getting, because... I mean, possession sounds kind of cool and all, but... I don't know. Hmm. Could move faster. That would be kind of nice. I don't care about health. I really don't care about that. I guess the blink upgrade that I was thinking about when I did that super awesome kill would be a good one. I guess I'll go ahead and get that. That's cool. Um, do I want possession? Not really. Might be cool, but the mana consumption is very high apparently. This is very high as well. I think bending time is better than possession. I'm going to increase my movement speed for now. If I get enough, I'll probably start working on possession, because I don't think there's anything else to worry about here, except for vitality. I don't want vitality, though. I want spirituality. <laughs> I want more mana. That's what I want. Um, Sure, we'll get possession. Press this to physically merge with an animal's body for a limited time. You can end possession by pressing this again, and if your host were to die, you would endure the same fate. Some animals can't survive, or small animals can't survive, the possession process. Level 2, you can also possess people. While inside another human body, you are too clumsy to do anything but basic actions like opening doors, carrying objects, blah 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 blah. Alright, well, uh, five runes to do that, which, uh, if I get two more, should be pretty easy. It doesn't look like there's anything around here to find, though. Let's follow... Emily here and see what her studies are about. Anything? You two gonna chit chat what are the it up? Principal islands in the Empire. Uh, Circanos, Gristol, Tivia, and Morley. And which one is the biggest? Gristol. And it's the best one, too. And how does whale oil work? That one's a trick. No one knows. Not even Piero. Excuse us, Corvo. I'm afraid you're a little distracting for the girl. Or just you. She seems to be doing just fine, even though I'm standing here. Calissa talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. Blah, 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 Emily, blah, 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 why do I have to do this, blah, 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 I wish I was sleeping in another room. That's probably what she's saying. When I'm Empress, I'll never have to live in a place like this again. Oh, come on, it looks like Cheers in here. Everybody knows your name. I dreamed the river got higher and higher, and we all climbed up to the top floor of the house into your room, but then the water turned into rats. I never have good dreams here. I think that might be because you had a rune under your pillow, but I don't know. Do you think there's any treasure buried under here? I dug a hole once, but all I found was old bones. What kind of bones? Human? Fish? Cat? Monkey? Damn, he drinks a lot. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses, but... <laughs> 
Calista made me throw it away. Calista talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. I guess that is about all she's gonna say. I'll try one more time anyway. Do they make you clean your own room? I have to. No, they don't, but that's probably because I'm cleaning up other messes elsewhere. I need to start Emily on her sums. Perhaps she can inventory our whiskey supplies. That could take a while. Just think. Our future Empress has a bar for a schoolhouse. Seems like a fun place to me. As you can see, Lady Emily has quite an imagination. Any child would grow a little odd in a place like this. Having an imagination doesn't make you odd. It makes you neat. I mean, this entire world wouldn't exist if there wasn't imagination. I would, I would hate to live in a world without imagination. I really would. I would be a sad person. All right. Anyway, I think that about does it for in here. There's one thing. Sounds emanating from evacuated buildings. Please bring this to the attention of the city watch. Let's see if there's anything up here. Looks like just a remedy of some sort. Yeah, it's an elixir. Not much going on around here. I guess we'll go see Piero. He is right through here, I believe. Hey, Piero. How's it hanging? You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. I've heard from Lord Shaw this morning. Which means my note was not delivered. This puts me in an awkward position. But then, you weren't the one who said his wife had the face of a plague rat. Nice. Thank you. I will try not to overburden you in future missions. You've had a long night, Corvo, but I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. I'd love to suck this guy in the face, but it already looks like someone did it for me. I regret my connections haven't been more used to you. When this business is over, though, then you'll see what I'm worth. Sure, I don't think you're worth anything. Havelock is attempting to have as many of the Lord Regent's guards reassigned as possible, but he may not succeed. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached unreasonable levels. I miss Morgan a little. Custis? Maybe not so much. <laughs> this guy is such an asshat. Parliament's been paralyzed for weeks, just the way we need. Lady Boyle's party was nothing compared to what I have planned at Pendleton Manor. Uh-huh. Jealous of other nobles much? Not that I'd really consider them noble. They all seem like jerks to me. Smelly, unsophisticated jerks. Corvo, the time has come. Yeah? Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. Cool. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. We're one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers the parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Between the ages of seven and ten to the Abbey to be tested. As overseers, 
They will be well provided for and serve the well-being of the community and the city. You've come very far, Corvo. We are almost there. Sure. We are moving closer and closer to an empire free of the corrupt and depraved. Not much further now, Corvo. Yeah, I don't know. I still think you guys are a little fishy. But what can I say? You guys broke me out of prison. Ish. Only a matter of time before this is all over. If it goes our way, it'll be glorious. There was rioting in the Taylor's district last night. The people demanding food, elixir against the plague, and better treatment. Stiltwalker guards set some of them on fire. Hmm. I wonder if Lydia has put on tea yet. Light. The Admiral has been telling me about sea life. It sounds like a fine way to live. Then again, I'm sure he'd enjoy the opulence of Dunwall Tower. Sure. Alright, I think we basically exhausted what most people are going to say at the moment. So we'll, uh... We'll get out to Sammy Boy right after I get my arrows refilled. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything. Practically. Sure. Just a few arrows, please. Or bolts. Whatever the hell you want to call them. They work the same way, right? In any case, next time we'll uh, have Sammy Boy here take us out to kill a certain Lord Regent. Bye for now, everyone.